Hello friends, I'm sure you're looking forward to a fabulous day. So how's your mind treating you today? <laughs> Am I turning the tables? Well, simple, because if you treat your mind, you condition it well, it is sure to treat you well, well enough for you to offer it a treat. So, we talk about our mind and more specifically our ego the primary resident of the subconscious who's constantly mediating between the superego and the id. The almost unrealistic penchant of the superego for the moralistic, for the idealistic and the absolutely depraved demands, animal-like instincts of the id. The ego keeps on trying to mediate between these two warring hero and anti-hero. Tough job. What an onus it would be on the ego. Often he flounders. He stumbles and sometimes he crumbles when the pressure is too much. But then he cannot say that he has failed. So he starts making justifications often irrational for his failure to mediate between the extremes of the superego and the id. So friends, today when we talk about this kind of a dynamics, this is what we call it as an ego defense or defense mechanisms. Let me talk about one such defense mechanism which is also called as an ego defense. Let's take a hypothetical case you are a team leader and one particular team member of yours or one of your subordinates doesn't find favor with you you're not too dotty with him you're not very fond of him or to some extent you dislike him or you hate him to some extent but you really cannot openly lambast him simply because he's efficient he brings result he's productive he, in short, is a hero and hence all the other team members literally adore him. It vexes you because he is very non-adherent, he is defiant to your authority, though very polite, he is polite towards you because he is not openly defiant. He does things the way he does. He doesn't follow your dictums but you can't seriously say anything because he gets very good results better results than people who politely listen to what you say. So your superego tells you to praise him, to eulogize him, but your id says fire him, lambast him, chide him, punish him maybe. So what does the ego do? It does a hodgepodge. It has to satisfy the superego, it has to satisfy the id and so the ego makes you go overboard in the conscious level. Your hatred is getting converted into just the opposite. You end up being overly sweet to him, you go hunky-dory with him and you praise him in front of others. You go overboard, you go hyperbolic under the assumption that people are not watching you. It is your way of satisfying, assuaging your inner guilt by trying to be overly the opposite of what your actual feeling is. But people are watching it and they can see through this. We come across such people, such situations in the office space at parties. Farce, fake is how we describe such people. Well, dear friends, Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis and a number of his disciples termed this kind of a behavior or this form of defense mechanism as reaction formation. And it is defined as a process of conversion of unwanted feelings, unwanted negative feelings into their opposites just to justify the treachery that your ego does towards the superego. Friends, we have this kind of a phenomenon in daily life. But before we go too deep into this further, 
I want you to brainstorm, rather mindstorm, since we are talking about the mind, into similar such situations and then share your views and we can have a tete a tete through comments on my channel. Anand Ayer. So keep sharing your views through the comments. We can have a tete a tete through your comment section and also keep sharing this video and enjoy and have a wonderful day ahead. Stay blessed till then or rather beyond that, have a fabulous time.